Peace, Abracadabra. This is Chakra Zulu, and I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on the driver's license scam. Basically, you don't need one, you know, because you're not a driver. A driver by definition in all these law books in the Constitution basically state that uh, a driver is somebody who is operating a motor vehicle for commerce, you know, layman's terms that means you know when you on the clock making some money you know uh but so that only constant so that's what a driver constitutes um everybody outside of that is what you call a traveler that's something they don't tell you in driver's ed just like they lie to you in driver's ed and say that um driving is not a uh right uh it is a privilege that's bullshit you know when it comes to travelers you you have freedom to travel that's in the constitution fuck that um so, uh, um, when you're going to the store, when you're going to pick up your kids from school or whatever, that's considered pleasure traveling. And you're not under any obligations uh, or any requirements in order to be able to do that. Um, the whole scam with the driver's license is just basically the DMV or the DPS or whoever. They're corporations who make money. You know, and, and, and the best way for them to get away with the scam that they're pulling is that they uh, align themselves up with law enforcement. And um, there's no way that law enforcement is not going to be down unless they, you know, getting a pinch off the profit they damn sell. So. Complete your FAFSA as soon as possible and check the TSU portal to make sure you're You know, that's why I'm sitting in my car, chiefing, exercising my sovereignty for the shit that they tried to pull on us. You know, go look it up. You know, if an officer pulls you over, <coughs> if an officer pulls you over, wants to see your driver's license, you don't have to have a driver's license. You can ask him if you're, if you can tell him that you're not driving under contract. You can ask him if he's going to contract you. If he still insists on seeing a license or some form of identification, uh, um, you let him know that you're doing that, that you're doing it under duress. If he wants to take you outside of your vehicle, uh, that's straight up kidnapping. That that's straight up uh, uh, the straight up uh, abduction, and, and um, you know all of that. You know you can make that work in your favor. Damn, if you know the law. You know, uh, so I mean, again, it, even if you're on your way to work to go make some money, if you're not on the clock while riding to work, you're just traveling, all right? You are simply a traveler, okay? And they might try to loophole you and be like, oh, no, you know, uh, um, as far as needing a, a, a driver's license for commercial vehicles, that's what they have a CDL for. That's bullshit. CDL is for anything with more than four wheels. That's my mother won't say that. But. Yeah. So long as I've been sitting here, I've seen several police pass. I just laugh. You know. Well, actually, I'm sitting in front of my house, so they can't do jack shit to me anyway, or whatever the case may be. I'm in my vehicle that I own or whatever. And that's another thing. When you get your car registered, you're you're signing your property over to uh belong to the state. That's that see, that's that's the thing with driver's licenses. Driver's licenses belong to the state. They'll tell you, oh no, your driver's license is not your own. That's that state property. Yeah, you've given yourself over to the state, you know, because you don't know the law. And that's what they that's how they get their money. Uh uh by your ignorance. Okay, uh, so I mean, when you when when they try to hit you with the, all this kind of stuff or whatever, you got to be ready for them. Bottom friggin' line, you know. Um, that that's all I'm gonna go on because uh, my short term memory is starting to fail me, and um, I'll probably continue this with another part two or whatever uh, to go in in depth as to certain other things that. We uh all, that we have a right to, but they tell us that it's only a privilege to to be able to have, you know. And um, like I say, we gonna bust up a whole bunch of more myths 
uh, uh, that they're trying to scam you on monetarily and otherwise, I'm out. 